Hey, Richie, this is his 73rd fight up against Francisco Figueroa, uh, recently signed to Roy Jones Squaring Promotions. Manuel. And a popular man in these parts from the Bronx. Big cheer when he came in this evening. Eight round contest, this. At light welterweight. Uh, and just in case you want to tell the two boxes apart, shall we say, Emmanuel Augustus has gone for the 70s look with the leopard skin trunks this evening. <laughs> Yeah, but he can find this kid. I was talking to um, Claude Abrahams from Boxing News earlier, and he said, Richard, I'll tell you, this guy, he can really fight. His uh, record doesn't do him justice. He's won 38, lost 29, six draws. Been right, in with a lot of good fighters. Been in with Floyd Mayweather, Mickey Ward. He's a good kid. He was ranked number two by the IBF back in 2002. Become something of a journeyman, I think, in recent years. Whilst he uh, is an American, born in Chicago. I has fought his last three fights down in Australia, where he now currently resides. Figueroa, the younger man, by about three years. Southpaw from the Bronx. Decent left hand there, stretching out, trying to find the bearded chin of Augustus. Comes forward. Lively pace in the opening uh, stages. Yeah, just having a look at each other. Figueroa, working on the back foot, and coming forward down. Good right up there. But uh, typical side four, preferring his man to lead, his opponent to lead. But uh, lovely straight left yeah. for Figueroa as well. Got through as well. He, he always sports to me, Augustus, a, a worried look on his face. It might be difficult to tell whether he's being hurt or not in this fight tonight. <laughs> kind of got a humble stance to him. Figueroa, by the way, 11 fight winning streak he brings to this contest. Oh, lovely left, straight through, and a resigned look on the face of Augustus there as yeah. Well done, you caught me. I shouldn't have left the chin open. Yeah, good shot there. So Augustus just made a mistake, didn't he? He hesitated a little bit and figured, oh, it just caught him. Good straight left hand. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> I, I think he, was, he put the brakes on. I thought he was doing the waltz then. <laughs> the pivot. <laughs> Decent right from Figueroa. But he put the brakes on. Did the man of the leopard skin trunks oh and gets through with a right hand and he's got his man on the ropes ducking well out of it is Figueroa <laughs> round two of this eight round light welterweight contest I just thought also, David, towards the end of that last round, there was just a sign there that Augustus, you know, he's got to be respected. He caught Figueroa with a great right hand on the ropes. And uh, I thought to myself, mm, yeah, you know, there's still life there in him. OK, he's a, he's a journeyman now, but he's still dangerous. Well, you don't go the distance with Mickey Ward without being a, a danger and having a decent shed, do you? I know it was back in 2001, but... Decent performance. He beat John Faxton as well ten years ago. Did uh, Emmanuel Augustus in Norwich? Came over to win the IBF and the WBO Intercontinental belts that evening. As Figueroa gets through with a left. Misses with a right hook, Figueroa. Augustus looking to counter as his man backed up into the ropes, but he skips out of it well. Better work here from Augustus. He's actually um, 
changed his tactics a little bit. I think he was he felt he was getting outboxed on the outside from Figaro, and now he's trying to close the gap down, get to his man, and, and sustain the pressure a little bit more. He's come here to fight. Took this fight at late notice. He says he's coming here to fight, and he's going to be popping like popcorn. Should have asked him if it was salted or sweet. <laughs> Oh, lovely left up to the body there from Augustus. Super little shot that was. I think he's winning this round. Sticking to his task well. Oh, but just caught by Figueroa. Right hand. There's the uppercut. The man from the Bronx. So ten seconds to go there in the second round. Yeah. Figueroa throws out a left hand just to the smaller man as well by about an inch and a half. Although well, Figueroa the heavier of the two fighters. What Figueroa could uh, start to do here, David, is maybe counter-attack as Augustus is, is starting to uh, an attack. He just beats him to the punch, steps in there very quickly and, and beats Augustus to that shot. Cool yeah. counter-attacking, that's what's probably needed here from Figueroa. Got round the side with a left hook, Figueroa. Well, Augustus in the centre of the ring. Control things from there. Referee, Earl Brown saying, watch your heads. Just getting a bit close. Lovely work there, though, by Figueroa. Just holding his ground, waiting for Augustus to lead. Coming back with the counters. Sharp reactions there from Figueroa. Might have the look of an old man. Augustus, though. There's some decent reactions in there. Once again, both fighters going toe to toe. Lovely little left hook. Just beats the guard from Augustus. And now complaining that. Top of the head. head right. Thirty three. Oh, oh lovely, lovely right hand. Kept the man back with a jab and then through the right. I was just gonna so say David, you know, he's thirty three years of age, Augustus, but uh, believe you me. He's, um, he's a young 33, the way he's coming forward and the way he's boxing here. Really fancies his chance in this fight. Now once again Figueroa, the aggressor, but he's been forced back. Comes to try and land a few, and then Augustus does really well. Some great ring craft to force his man back. Ten seconds to go. Tries the uppercut. Augustus. The right uppercut. Misses. And then all right 